phenomenon is real. It was scary. Really scary. Something was about to happen. There was something seriously wrong. You didn't really believe our story. You killed them. Just admit it. I just wanted to be out of there and back home as quick as I could. A lumberjack living a simple life, Travis Walton was only 21 when he experienced an abduction that changed Hollywood's sci-fi genre for decades. And then when I stood up to run back, bam, that's when it hit me. I, I just felt this numbing shock. Travis was in Arizona working with a logging crew when he made the life-changing decision that would result in his disappearance. You know, it was a rather impulsive thing to do and I was regretting it almost as quickly as I did it. Five days and six hours later, Travis found himself on the side of a highway, alive, terrified, and with a shocking story to tell. All I can remember is a lot of fear and, and relief when it was over. Travis claims that before going missing, he was in a truck with six of his coworkers headed to a nearby town. As they drove on, with night settling in, they witnessed a saucer-shaped object just a hundred feet in front of them. That's right, they saw a UFO. They all heard the object emitting a high-pitched sound, and Travis got out of the car to investigate. As he got closer, he says a beam of light struck him and he blacked out. His colleagues looked on in horror. I holler out, they got him. Travis! Travis! He was nowhere to be found. They claimed they were so frightened by witnessing the abduction that they just drove off in a hurry. So much of my life has been determined by that one decision to get out of that truck. His colleagues later decided to report him missing. They believed that the six other workers had murdered Walton due to a disagreement earlier in the day. While detectives searched the woods for him, Travis claims he was experiencing something otherworldly. He said that he regained consciousness to find himself in a sterile-like hospital room. He looked up to the doctors working on him and realized they were short, bald, humanoid aliens. He recalls being absolutely terrified. He says he fought with them for a time before they placed a plastic wrap over his face and things went dark again. When he awoke on the side of the highway five days later, he caught his last glimpse of the UFO. I could see the bottom of this craft that, in the dark, hovering there for just a second before it shot up into the sky. The story would shock the nation. Travis Walton was on the lips of every UFO researcher and tabloid journalist in the country. He and his crew were interviewed by the National Enquirer and received a $5,000 prize for each completing a polygraph test. I've passed five tests from three different examiners. Three years after the abduction, Travis wrote a book detailing his experience. The contents of his book would become the basis for the chilling sci-fi film, Fire in the Sky. The most famous case of UFO abduction ever reported. Travis says the film was mostly accurate, but screenwriters took some liberties with the story. Hollywood is full of creative people and they like to be creative. <laughs> While many believe Travis, there are still several skeptics that try to disprove everything. There's been a tremendous amount of uh, scrutiny of my experience. I agree with uh, Carl Sagan when he says extraordinary claims deserve extraordinary evidence. A psychologist suggested that Travis had been influenced to conduct a story after recently viewing a TV movie, The UFO Incident. Details in Walton's stories allegedly closely matched what was shown in the film. Decades later, Travis and his old co-workers still stick to the same story. I really do think it was more uh, being in the wrong place at the wrong time or doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Do you believe Travis experienced a real alien abduction? Or is this simply one of the biggest UFO hoaxes of all time?